So let's start uh, the prompt engineering iter iterative process demo. Uh, we'll start with the same brief, uh, a portrait of a woman in pop art style. So, so we just start with a very simple prompt, uh, pop art painting of a woman. Cool. Uh, let's set it up. Uh, we'll add this negative prompt. We'll cover what negative prompts are and how they help in much more detail in the next lesson. So uh, we add the negative prompts over here. Let's check our settings, stable diffusion model 1.5, and then we are going to generate portrait. So let's actually select the image I mentioned as portrait. We'll get good result. Prompt guidance of seven to eight is fine here. We'll set it as eight. We are doing exploration and we are going to generate quite a lot of images. We want result fast. So quality and details or the number of steps or iteration, we'll set it to 20. We'll randomize each uh, new variant. So we have some sort of a chance of uh, stumbling upon a good seed um, and good composition. So we'll keep it as randomized. Uh, number of images, again, in the exploration phase, we'll set it to four. Uh, do switch on your private session because you're doing exploration a lot of these images are going to be in draft so you don't want uh, these images show up in your feed so let's uh, click generate and see what the first result is and to get a better view of all the images generated i'll set the column size to four cool so we have some images of a, a woman uh, they are not uh, from the post side they are not really like looking at the camera so let's actually add a few more details related to uh, the portrait part of it. So, so the golden rule, uh, we make changes to the prompt. And uh, if it produces something consistently that we like, we keep it. If it produces uh, consistently, which we don't like, we basically discard it and then try something else. So that is basically the golden rule uh, that we are going to follow. Uh, for the demo as well. So we have added portrait. Uh, let's click on generate. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have double faces here. And uh, but it is basically coming into the portrait. Uh, for double faces, we'll fix it uh, using the negative prompt. Let's actually focus more on getting the pose right. So head and shoulder pose is, is uh, generally the term used. Uh, to basically uh, get the the based up part of it. This didn't really generate good, but let's see if this is the consistent result. Uh, if it is consistent, then we'll have to rethink about this prompt. Okay, is not generating consistent results, uh, desirable results. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. So we'll remove head and shoulders. Looking at the camera, um cool let's try with this mm -hmm. uh, let's start fixing using the negative prompts i think we had double face two faces so we have added that to the negative prompt and uh, let's see if it helps us improve this Okay, it greatly helped us uh, improve it and our poses are also improving. So let me now try head and shoulder pose and see if uh, that helps us. Cool, okay. A little more consistent uh, uh, portrait uh, poses that we are getting here. So let's add more details here. Uh, for example, waist up is another keyword that is used to get portraits of upper body, mm -hmm. but uh, that reduced the poppy part, the pop art part of it. Uh, cool, let's actually add a little more pop, young modern keywords that uh, gives it the pop art feeling. Cool, uh, here again mutilated face, so let's add, uh, let's, we have already had pop art. So now let's add, say, spray painting. 
and let's see how does this impact our style. Mm -hmm. It's generating double faces, double face, two faces, multiple eyes, mutilated face, uh, two person. Nice, nice. Now this is giving us a little more of uh, the photo of a single woman with uh, better anatomy. So uh, we have spray painting. Do we like the spray painting portion of it? We can actually check the image. Mm -hmm. I think this one has more spray painting components to it. We like it. We'll keep it. Let's see. Color slash. Nice, nice. A few of these images uh, have good color slash. Let's generate it so that it is consistent rather than one off. Nice. So definitely we see the style of painting has changed from here to, uh, to here and here. So I want more RGB or rainbow vibrant colors. So I'll just add rainbow colors here and see how it helps. Mm, cool. I think I like this one. I like this one a bit. This one obviously has two faces which we cannot use, but I think we are going in the right direction. Let's finish off the prompt with a few magic keywords. So we say Instagram contest winner. Uh, let's see how does this help. Uh, okay, let's see. Generate it again. Cool. I think uh, this keyword is not working out for us. Let me generate it once more. Okay, I think I'll check this. I'll add say 4K as well as Sotheby and say modern art. Let's see if this keyword is consistent to the style that we want to generate. I think I like this. Now it's a personal taste when it comes to art, it's a personal taste and be especially careful like <clears throat> if you see hands because um, a stable diffusion model is very notorious for not generating hands properly and we see here the hands are not generated so it's going to be very difficult to fix this image to use it in the final uh, artwork so so if you don't want to put in a lot of effort just to select images where the hands are not basically displayed uh, I think I like this one so I think I'll uh, uh, I have arrived at uh, my prompt. So now the search starts for the seed. So for seed, basically what you need to do is uh, you uh, you select just a single image in the batch and uh, generate. So uh, so yeah, uh, uh, so with the single batch, if you uncheck this, picks up whatever the last seed it was generated. But if you have multiple, you cannot uncheck it, right? So we switch to single batch of images and we generate a few images and see if the composition fits what we are looking for. I think uh, in the first shot, I got this composition, which is, is I think uh, um, I can actually work with. This again has hands, probably will not be able to work with it. Uh, I think this is also a very bold image. So let's actually check. Nice, it's a bold image. I think I we have uh, we have the seed that we were looking for. Let's generate a few more so that if there's something better out there, 
we are able to find it not really i think yeah uh, let's actually use this one so what i'll do is i'll just click on it and when i click on it the seed automatically switches to whatever the seed was for this particular image as well as the other settings as well now because i want to use it for production use instead of 20 i'll say 40 steps and uh, get more details out of this particular image the composition is going to remain the same it's just going to enhance it add a few more elements to it so this is what it generated after we increase the number of steps to 40 let's look at it so it's still a full screen uh, full face image uh, i can see the earrings over here if i go over here the earrings are not visible right so it's adding more details to it if i do 30 it's going to show me the intermediate step between this image and this image so yeah it generates for 20 steps it generates this 30 steps it generates this 40 steps it generates this so we have uh, it keeps adding more details to it and we as we uh, go through more iterations so if this is something that i want to use then what i can do is i can actually upscale it which we are going to cover it later so i upscale it nice so it uh, it clear, uh, cleared up the image and it's this is ready for me to use